Well, hello. It's been a while since we've gone to Fall of Porcupine. I've kind of been saving it for the fall. And it's fall now. So let's dive back in. If you haven't seen the first couple of episodes, I'll forget to link those on the screen now. Let's go. Uh, Mia, what's up? I've been waiting for you. What for? You want to mug me? <laughs> Don't be silly. Um, something, 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 the sports court at the school. Just get some exercise. Balance the mind. Do you want to come along? It'll be fun. Sure. Yeah, let's go. All right. Come on, then. Race you to the school sports court. <laughs> if you insist. Great. On your marks. Get set. Some, some, some Krakowski. She looks angry. What? Go! Matt little stinker. I don't know why we're so zoomed in here. Hopefully it'll, it'll unzoom shortly. But we've got a race, apparently. Let's go win it. We've just finished a long day. Working at the hospital. Certainly nothing creepy about... about this. It's supposed to be about fall and being comfortable game, not about being creepy, okay? This isn't one, uh, one night in the woods, night in the forest. Whatever that game that is very much looking like this. It's not that. I do love that we can float. I very much enjoy that. And this is apparently not the way to the sports court. We are going to lose this because we don't know where we're going. This is not a fair race, everyone. I am a bird. I should have been able to jump off the cliff and just glide down to the sports court. I'm here for sports. Did I win? I somehow think I didn't win. You had time to get changed? Mia. Wow. What's happening here? Hmm? What do you think? After a long day, I need to work off a bit of energy. The university clinic where I used to work had its own sports field. I discovered this hidden gem last week. I hereby present to you. <laughs> nice. So you want to join me in? You want me to join in? That's the plan. Today, we're playing basketball. You know how to shoot hoops, right? I was always good at school. I got teased a lot for being one of the youngest, but I always got the baskets. Alrighty then. Looks like I choose the right guy to play against. Let's see who wins. Ready? Um, yeah, yeah, let's, let's play. Just what I wanted to hear. Here we go. I, I don't know if there's stuff to look around. Oh, yes. Keep yourself fit. Hold E to charge your throw. Release E to throw. Score baskets with a special ball to get three points. Whoever has the most points at the end is the winner. This is not basketball. Okay. Oh, a score to basket -y point. A super point. Skadooey. Okay, so just as soon as I get the ball back. Yes! Mega points! Oh no, she blocked it. Get it in there! No! Oh, oh no. Here we go, here we go. Boom! Yeah, super! Let's go, we're one ahead. Let's get, oh, we got the super ball. Right in, nothing but hoops. No, that's gonna just pop hers right in. I'm just, I'm helping her. I'm giving her baskets when I don't need to. Oh no. Woo!
I somehow don't feel that all of that confetti was actually here. That was just us. Where? How, how, when did I get changed? Just out in the bushes somewhere? Oof. You really showed me. I didn't know you were so good. Oh, I think you just caught me on a good day. Last time I played basketball was at school. When I started a team in Porcupine, you have to join me. <laughs> okay. So, Finley, how do you like it here? Not just work, in general. Porcupine. Mm, it's nice here. I mean, I kind of haven't had much time to get to know the town yet. I haven't even unpacked all my boxes yet. And then I was out of action for a while. Uh, feels a bit like when I first started university. A little lonely. Really? But you're already fitting in so well. <laughs> How do you mean? Well, somehow you get along with everyone here. And it feels like I don't know anyone yet. I feel a little lonely. Every time I move town, it gets a little harder somehow. I had a few friends at school. Even at university, I, I struggled to meet people. And in Porcupine, I really only know the people from the hospital. <laughs> you really think I'm fitting in well? Totally. Funny. I feel the same way as you, actually. Really? That's a surprise. I haven't had so much free time so far. Uh, and when I do, I never have the energy to do anything. It's tough to get to know anyone. But I've made up my mind to get bogged down in work. Not to get bogged down in work. I want to make sure I always have some energy for trying out new things. Meeting new people. Maybe even making some friends. <laughs> I'm sure we'll both find friends here. And whenever you want to try something new, you can always let me know. I will. But that's enough for today, I think. I'm starving. I need to make something to eat. Besides, some of us have the early shift tomorrow. It's your first night shift, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, but all goes all right. I'm sure it will. I believe in you. But I've got to run now. See you tomorrow night. We'll see you tomorrow night, Mia. Maya. Oh, we're back here. Okay, cool. <gasps> we played basketball. Basketball with Mia. Wait, what's this? I can't wait to sleep in tomorrow. Good night, world, or hold on. Yep, night night. Let's go. Wait, was I supposed to go to night shift? Was I supposed to go to work? My apartment is a mess. Mm, actually, it's not that bad, is it? I mean, it's only going to get messy again anyway. And then I'll just have to tidy it up again. Maybe I should just maintain a constant level of chaos at all times. Meh. I should put my laundry away at least. Otherwise, it'll end up lying around all week. Hope my lazy furniture self appreciate future self appreciates this. All right, let's clean up. <laughs> Ooh, that was fast. I want magic laundry hands. Hey, flower. Feel free to help me out a little. After all, you live here too. That reminds me, actually, you're behind on rent too. It's not paying. It does not care. Oh, yeah. Let's turn the fan on. It's fall, though, so... Oh, there we go. Clean it up. Hello? Hello? Finlo! Hey! Pina? Is that you? Bingo! What's up? How's stuff? How's the goss? What's the goss? You still in bed after the accident? Yeah, no, I'm I'm back in my feet now. I even played basketball with a colleague yesterday. You play basketball? I wish I'd seen that. Anyway, are you free right now by any chance? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm still at home. I'm on my first night shift tonight. Oh, exciting. Are you nervous? <laughs> nope, not yet. I'm sure that'll change later. <laughs> Sounds like a little distraction would do good. You think you could swing by my store? I could use your help. Um, I wanted to check out the high street anyway. Sure, I'll stop by. Perfecto, thanks so much. 
See you soon. I don't know if that's the same voice that I gave Pina last time, but I'm willing to bet just based on the... Just based on the, the text there. We'll see. We'll see. Hello, Mr. Walrus. I actually... This is Pina. Okay, Pina is a girl. And I don't know where the high street is. So, let's go look for the high street. And enjoy the music. This looks like the low street. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. Relax. Let's enjoy. Follow porcupine. <sighs> Which reminds me. Today's non-sponsor is coffee. Coffee itself. Not a specific brand. Just the very idea of drinking bean juice. That's high in caffeine with a little bit of cow juice. A little moo juice. To make you go down easy. Coffee. Because a day without coffee is not something I've had before. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Pastries. My only weakness. A dastardly villain placed these cinnamon buns here. In broad daylight, I'll find you, scoundrel. I will find you and I will taste my sweet revenge. Can I go in? I Now I want cinnamon buns. Reminds me of our, our other... Hello? <laughs> that reminds me of our other non-sponsor for the day. Donuts. Hey! Bina? Bina. Finbo, are you okay? Are you hurt? Am I dead? <laughs> You're the unluckiest person I know, you know that? I just wanted to come and help. I know, thanks, and you really have too. What do you mean? I needed an idea for my facade. Looks like you sorted that out for me. I'm just glad I uh, brought all the plants in first. <laughs> That look suits you. You should wear it more often. You think? Sort of the two-tone look? Absolutely. It adds that much-needed touch of color to your face. What if it dries on me? Do you want to come in and wash up? I better hat, right? Don't want to stain the beds in the ward later. <laughs> Let's get to it then. That's my super-duper fast dry paint you're wearing there. Uh-oh. A scrubbing minigame? Oh no, just like, just got most of it off. Okay, that's more like it. You really are a walking disaster area, aren't you? First a box hits you on the head, now a bucket of paint. Maybe it really is just bad luck. You know what? I just realized I haven't even been inside your store before. Nice place you have here. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you. I've put a lot of work into it. How's business going? How do you think? I love my plants. And so does everyone else. Are you still looking for an assistant? If you're interested in the position, I'll be expecting a formal application, young man. <laughs> hey, it was worth a shot. How's your head? I'm starting to get used to the bumps. Well, buy a helmet with a capital F on it. That way, everyone can see you coming. And ruin my hair? Never. You don't have hair. You have feathers, young man. Have you got time for a day out tomorrow? You know, I don't actually want a helmet, right? No, no. I, I want to go to the Glow Milk Woods. Want to come with me? 
Finley, can you hear me? Hello? What? Uh, I think I still have pain in my ears. Some careless person dropped a bucket on my head. I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, I'm in. Woodland air is good for the helm. Great. Okay, time for me to head off to my night shift. See you tomorrow then. We'll just meet up at my store again, okay? And watch your head, Finley. <laughs> okay, will do. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta check out. Yeah. Do you want water all over your flowers with this tap? Do you water all your flowers with this tap? Ah, oh, okay. What? No. You've got some strange notions about how I how my job works. <laughs> yeah, okay. Plants. Wow, that's a lot of plants. Yep, raised them all myself. Is my plant from the shelf too? Yes, I picked out a really pretty one for you. Oh, thanks. But I think they're all pretty. <laughs> okay, let's go. We've got rounds we gotta get to. Oh, yep, there's uh, there's the Finley facade. How do I get to the the thing from here? Can I steal the bike? That's Pina's car. Room for two people and 38 plants. Amazing how cluttered it is for someone in such a, so in touch with nature. I'm going to go this way and see if it leads us to the, to the hospital. Oh, hello. The grocery store is just about to close. It doesn't matter where you are. This is when people suddenly decide it's the best time to go shopping. Yep. <laughs> hello. Yep, I think this is all area we have not been to so far. Yeah, oh, these look really fancy. Sort of a modern architectural style. Wait, what's this? Looks like school's out for the day. Oh man, you really start missing your time in school when those days are gone. Well, not the time in school exactly. More like time, generally. There used to be so much of it. Yeah. No, that's true. Oh, this must be the back way. All right, I know the way to the hospital from here. This park was created shortly after the construction of St. Ursula's Hospital. The designer, Leslie Floor, was a great advocate for the importance of historic preservation and sustainability. As such, none of the existing structures were removed or altered. There were also special areas set aside for greenery. The park serves as a place of recreation for all of Porcupine's residents, both sick and healthy. It's said that the park can improve one's health and accelerate one's recovery. Fascinating. Not a bad place to take a lunch break. The fresh air is so good. And the leaves are such beautiful colors. Don't you work at St. Ursula's? I think I saw you in the cafeteria the other day. <laughs> yes, I do. I'm guessing you're staying with us right now. Yeah, afraid so. But they let me go outside at least. It's not a bad hospital, I gotta say. I've been there a few days and now I'm starting to feel better. But the smells are killing me. There's this weird, pungent smell everywhere. You wouldn't believe how much I'm enjoying the scent of the leaves right now. <laughs> Fresh air and some sunshine can go a long way. But you should put a, on a coat next time. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for... Captain Finley and the Evil Senior Physician. Written and performed by me. Ooh, that Dr. Tatowski is so mean. 
I toil away day in, day out, all for just a few breadcrumbs. How can I possibly go on? Oh no, she's coming. <laughs> I'm Dr. Tartowski, and I'm coming to get you. I can't do anything right, and I know everything. I'll eat all your breadcrumbs. They're all mine now. <laughs> Who will deliver us from this reign of terror? Do not despair. Finley is here to save the day. Finley? It's you! We're saved! I'll show you, Dr. Tartowski. Will Finley be able to defeat... Oh, hold on, sorry. Will Finley be able to defeat the cruel Dr. Tartowski and free the staff? Find out next time on... do 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 Captain Finley and the Evil Senior Physician. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> anyway, off to the hospital. Let's go. And we're back. Whoosh. Oh, hello. Come and get me, Ollie, if you dare. Jelly legs, scary cat. Stand still. Why are you always such a chicken? Come here! Oh, okay. Hey, no running down here. Oh, my old nerves. <laughs> yep, no respect. So noisy. Um, I should figure out... Now, hold on, let me open my phone. See, no tasks available. All right, I guess we got to go take the elevator. Let's take the elevator. I wonder if it members. I wonder if it members every time I take the elevator rather than taking the stairs. And whether that actually matters or not. Hello, I'm here. I am here. Hello, I'm here. Hey, Finley. <laughs> Mia, you look rushed off your feet. Busy day, huh? Yeah, it's been kind of crazy. <laughs> The Hendersons in room 302 couldn't keep still for five minutes. I can't deal with that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I just saw those two myself. Really? Where? I'm downstairs, at the main entrance. Oh, dear. And I just got them back into bed. Anything I need to know? The Hendersons poisoned each other. What? Were they trying to kill each other? No, no. Uh, it was a dare. But I'm sure they can explain it better themselves. I'll look into it right away. Can't be that bad, the way they're running around. Mm, I don't know. The test we took at lunchtime didn't look so great. You definitely won't get bored anyway. <laughs> and I... Mm, I'm going now. Oof. All I want to do is lay down on the couch. You've earned it. Get some rest. See you tomorrow. Break a leg. Wait. Hold on. Do... do cows don't lay, lay down. They sleep standing, don't they? Anyway... Downloading today's schedule. Schedule updated. Ah, P31, 302 and 302. Let's start with the little old lady. Kind of ease ourselves into... Into things. Hello? I am being quiet. And relaxed. Hello? Hello, Orma. How are you this evening? Beautiful, isn't it? The fall. It's just a pity it always gets dark so early. I wouldn't mind a few more hours of sunshine. It's bright enough in here, though, luckily. True. But a long walk in the fall air would do me good. Still, you're right. You know, when I was young, light wasn't a given. We always had to catch it first. Catch it? The light. It used to be more agile than we're used to today. It was quite tricksy. I'll tell you the story if you like. Sure, tell me more. 
All right, but only if I'm not keeping you from your work. <laughs> it's okay. Think of it as part of my job. Oh, that's true. I am your patient. Oh, oh, after all. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see now. Ooh, a cutscene. Before there were streetlights in Porcupine, we had to come up with other solutions if we wanted to read at night. Uh, that's where a trained light catcher like me comes in. The catching light isn't easy, of course. You can't just open a jar in the morning and put the lid on when it's full. <laughs> Try it. You won't get very far. I'll tell you right now. The thing is, light is fantastically fast. There's nothing faster than light. And by the time you put the lid on, the light's already sneaked out again. <laughs> then night comes, and everyone's stumbling around in their pajamas again. Anyway, no one knew what to do, of course. I tried putting out bait. Maybe the light would like peace to or mm, chocolate truffles. But it didn't. What it liked were the pears my husband Gilbert had growing in the garden. One night, I saw these little lights swirling around the pears and settling on their skins. Eureka, I thought. Irma, now you've got it. It's hard to screw fruit into lamps, of course, so I asked the local glass blower to make us pear-shaped jars. And what do you know? Once we began using the pear-shaped glass, or bulbs, as the glass blower called them, the light came to our parlors at the speed of light. And we could finally read at night. Of course, nowadays we use electricity to tickle the light so it knows when to come and go. Light switch on, light switch off. You know how it works. Light switch off. You know how it works. And that's how it became a light catcher. If I'm honest, though, I never actually caught the light. It's far too fast for that, you know. Anyway, that's how things have been. I've never been good at physics, but it all makes sense to me. I'll take a closer look at my lamps at home. All right, now you've told me all about catching the light, but not how you're doing. How are you feeling today? I think... I don't know exactly. It's a strange feeling not being able to answer that question. Um, I haven't slept this much in years. <sighs> and I'm feeling a little chilly. Let me take a look. It'll only take a second. The solution contains a symbol. Place the symbol in the correct position. All right. Okay, we'll go with a heart and a hand and a bone and a skull. Okay, solution contains a symbol. Place the symbol. Okay, but not in the correct position. Okay, so we'll put the bone here. We'll put the a foot here instead of a hand. We'll put the heart here and we'll put the skull here, huh? Okay, so two of those are right. The foot is wrong. So, and neither of them are in the correct position. Okay, so the bone doesn't go over here. It doesn't go here. It might go here. Let's put the bone here. We'll place the skull here. Uh, the hand will go here. And the heart will go here. Oh, there we go. Those three are right. And that's not right at all. Okay. So the heart's the wrong one. And it's... There we go. Ha-ha! Got it even before the A. Treatment complete.
Let's go. It should be A plus actually. Your fever's a little higher than before. At least we know it's pneumonia now. We're going to keep giving you medication until the symptoms subside. The most important thing is to bring your temperature down. That will help you sleep better, too. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, this wouldn't have been so much trouble when I was younger. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, the immune system weakens with age. Well, looks like you're stuck with me a little longer, Doctor. The weird old lady with her oddball stories. <laughs> How terrible. Yes, you don't know what you've gotten yourself into. Occupational hazard. <laughs> Usually better now. You need to get some rest. Uh, then we'll soon have you back on track. I know I'm a doctor and it's a bit of a cliche, but... Sleep really is usually the best medicine. I agree. Thanks. Yes. One done. Now the deer. Let's go. You poisoned each other? You idiots! Sorry, sorry, bedside manner. Faker! Quitter! I drank half the bottle. Yeah, right. I saw you spit it out. Because I had to puke. I puked first. Boys? He always starts it. He never stops. Boys! You're suffering from fever, vomiting, diarrhea, and headache. May I ask why? Mold fight. Yeah, mold fight. Do I even want to know? Uh, we found this moldy old bottle in the basement. Orange juice. Champagne. It was fermented, frothy orange juice. No, gloopy yellow champagne. I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, let's take a closer look. Which one of you is Oliver? Here. <laughs> Ollie's always first. First in losing, maybe, blockhead. Oh, man. O-L-L-I. Ollie is the toughest guy. What are we going to do now? I'm going to have to give you an injection. Whoa. What? No way. Needles are totally lame. He's scared. Look, he's shaking. I'm not... I'm so not shaking. Come on, Doc. Let's get this over with. Let's do this. Please hold stiff for a moment. Find the spot where the blue vein is closest to the surface of the skin. Place the syringe with E there. Hold E afterwards to draw the right amount of blood or administer the correct dose of medication. Let's do this. Okay, that, I mean, that looks really close right there. I mean, like right there. Man, if phlebotomists actually had this. Okay. What'd I get? What'd I get? Yes! I'm the best gamer. I'm so gay. Right. All done. Look. I didn't feel a thing. Piece of cake. Hmm. Face it. I'm just really brave. I probably gave you the kitty injection. That's no sweat. I can do it too. Okay. So you must be Rudy, right? Right? I'm going to give you exactly the same thing. Here we go. Okay. I got this. I'm basically a pro at this now. So there's a pretty high lump. Do we have a higher lump? No, it's it's pretty much it's just this one over here. Right there. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. Not perfect. Not happy with that one. He moved. Yeah, I gotta be. Still a passing grade, though. 
I shook less than Ollie, didn't I, Doc? Liar! Come on, Doc. You know I was the best. <sighs> Whatever it was that you drank, it's infected you with bacteria. Sh uh, sh 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 this is no joke. Yeah, Shigia fight. No, no Shigia fight. This is serious. Oh, um, this might be Latin, so it should be uh, Shigilia. You've got a disease called Shigliosis, which can get really nasty. Both of you are still contagious. We're going to need to implement hygiene and safety precautions to make sure no one else in your ward catches your disease. Oh, no. But I've got more Shigliosis than Ollie, right? <laughs> Have not. Have two. Your diagnosis is exactly the same, Rudy. Ha! Huh. Boys! Yes? Yes? Forget it. Just stop. Being stop. Hey, Finley. Pretty well, actually. People are sleeping well today. Sandra and I even had time for a round of UCT. UCT? Urine cup toss. Is that a thing? Sure. There are even national tournaments. It's a big deal in the nursing community. Sandra and I are on Team Ursula. We've been training. Yeah, it's one of those things you can only really do at night. But well, that's not what I came here for. Your razor-sharp senses have probably already told you this, but Krakowski isn't here tonight. Thanks to the outstanding, seamless planning of the work wrote... There's actually no ward supervisor here at all tonight. As the most senior person here, it leaves me in charge of the most uh, most of the tasks until Dr. Krakowski gets back on shift tomorrow. Uh, it doesn't seem so bad. It sure isn't. However, it does mean that I need to sign off on your treatment outcomes. That's a pain. A thankless task. You won't win many friends that way, you know? All right, let's get this over with. I, I did pretty good. Hey, I got an A overall. Just that one B. Mm, not happy with that, but, you know. Well, what can I say? I think it all looks good. Considering on who you are, there's nothing to complain about here. Way to go, Finley. Really. So how was that? Did you sound, did I sound like Dr. Krakowski? I feel weird. <laughs> it's okay, Carl. Don't worry about it. This was so much nicer than the lectures I get from Dr. Krakowski. <laughs> All right. I think the rest of the night will be a quiet one. Put your feet up a little. Try to relax. We'll do another quick round before the end of the shift. Then that's it. Okay. I will relax. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I should probably take another wash. I don't want the patients thinking I'm sick myself. I'll end up getting paint everywhere. Here we go. Now we're nice and clean. Hey, and I got a steam achievement. Wash all the paint off Finley's face. Perfect. Do, do, do. Hey. Hey, what's up? Excuse me. Can someone help me, please? There's water dripping through the ceiling. I'm all wet. It's coming from room P31. Is that Irma? I better check it out. Nobody else heard that? Did you hear that? Irma, what's going on here? You're soaked to the bone. There you are. I don't know. I was just lying here and suddenly my blanket was wet. Believe you me, it was quite a relief when I realized it wasn't my fault. I thought I was really getting decrepit. Goodness, it feels like that time our waterbed burst. It was little Giuliano's birthday and he wanted a pirate party. I had no idea he was going to wake us up early wearing his pirate costume. Those toy pirate hooks were pretty sharp back in the day, you know. Ho hold on, J just let me push you out of the way here. I'm so sorry about this. We'll take care of it right away. And we'll get you some new clothes and an extra cozy blanket. What's going on in here? Coral, it's raining from the ceiling. I can see that. Let's go upstairs and see where the water's coming from. What about Irma? Holy hot pot, what's going on here? Sandra, good to see you. 
thought you guys were having a party. Can you take care of Mrs. DeCalma? Uh, she's in urgent need of fresh clothes and bedding. Sure, no problemo. I was just about to anyway. Finley, we need to fetch Gregor and let him know. He's been working on the fourth floor ward all day. Let's try there first. All right. Ir Irma, someone's going to come and take care of you, right? Okay? Thank you. It's getting a little chilly under this gown. You guys head upstairs. I'll take care of the patient. Luckily, we've got a free bed in 303. Thanks, Sandra. Come on, Finley. Let's go check upstairs. Okay, we'd better hurry. I didn't bring my swimming shorts. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, guys. There's water in one of the patient's rooms. Oh, the, sorry, that was me. There's water in one of the patient's rooms. You don't say, kid. Last I checked, they weren't building a swimming pool in this whole floor. Don't you think we need to find the cause of it? I'm on it, kid. But if you want to help, go up a floor. To the fifth floor? But it's locked and closed off. Here's the key. Use this to unlock the door at the top of the staircase. Yeah, okay, let's go with the Boston Bostonian kind of. Just don't tell the bald, Theobald, okay? I'm in enough trouble with him as it is. You're going ahead. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, we're going. Oops, a daisy. No, we can't take the elevator to the fifth floor. We gotta walk it. Let's go. Well, what will we find? Is it spooky? Is it dangerous? What's the matter? Nothing. Everything's okay. What are you waiting for, then? I'm not waiting for anything. You're not scared, are you? No, I'm not scared. It's just the last time I was up here, I had that accident. That's right. By this time, I'm here. I look out for you. It's just an ordinary hospital ward. Except for the smell, maybe. Yeah... You're right, it's just a ward, like all the others. All right then, let's go. See where that water's coming from. Let's do this. Let's do this now. Hello? Hello? Yep, nobody's here. There's water over here. More water. Do you think this could be... This could be it. Carl, look up there. The pipes burst. I can see that. And I can feel it, too. My clothes are already soaked. How could something like this happen? The whole pipe's basically turned to rust. Well, you've seen for yourself how dangerous it gets up here. The squad's ruined now. Maybe it really was for the best just to shut it down. What a mildew-infested dump. I've said it time and time again. But no one listens to old Gregor, do they? Even though he's the one who has to handle it every time. Have you seen it, Gregor? Yeah, the heating pipes burst. Hold on. Old Gregor doesn't have it easy. Old Ursula's been through a lot over the last few decades. I'll do what I can. But I can't be everywhere at once. But when I'm not there, no one takes care of the old lady. And I want the old lady to be all right. Even if I don't have the resources. Or the time. Or the back of a 20-year-old. As long as old Gregor's still standing, Ursula will too, all right? Oh, thank you, Mr. Glendower. Don't be so dramatic, you old fart. I'll be on my way then. I'll have to look at the pipe over the next few days. Right now, I've got other things to do. Sounds like the hospital's important to him. Could be, I guess. You were pretty hard on him. Huh, why not? We've had our share of arguments. He's never around when you need him. I can't rely on him. 
Take the day, for instance. Who found the broken pipe? We did. Who arranged for repairs when the elevator got stuck? We did. I did. You did. All that old fart has to do is slap some tape on it and it's all good. <laughs> if you say so. Everything okay? I don't know. I, I feel funny. What do you mean? Are you sick? No, but I haven't been up here since the accident. So? Well, everything's gone. The desk, the blood, the hearing noises. What are you talking about? Do we even remember what happened? Yeah, I do, but... Wait, how do you know what happened? I was the one who found you up here. Really? Yeah, you and old Ardenus. And you didn't see anything out of the ordinary? Well, two bleeding and unresponsive people lying on the floor isn't exactly what I call ordinary. I was looking for Arns. And then I heard a bang. So I rushed up here straight away. I actually thought you couldn't get up here anymore, but it looks like I was wrong. You two clearly managed it. I dragged you both to the door. Then Demi and Archie helped me carry you. You're lucky they happened to be in the stairwell. <laughs> they were looking to grab a cup of coffee. For someone so small, you're pretty heavy, you know that? Did you see anything else? Was there anyone else up here? Fenley, it was just the two of you, half buried under a load of boxes. I promise. Why would I lie to you? This ward's a disaster area. That's why it was shut down a few years ago. Now it's just for storage. Everyone dumps their junk here. No one really looks after it. It was only a matter of time before someone got hurt. Mr. Arns ended up here by mistake. He was very confused. He pulled out his drip and then merrily started bleeding all over the place. He probably tripped over his own tubes or bumped his head. And when you went after him, the whole pile of junk collapsed in on itself. Oh, man. Yeah, it was quite a mess. Want to head back downstairs? Yeah, in a minute. I've got one more question. What happened here? Why is the ward closed? Look at it. This is a huge ward. We could use the space. St. Ursula has a long history. This used to be the internal one. Our ward. I spent my first few years at the hospital up here. That was a long time ago. At some point they realized the damp was getting into the walls. Hospital management decided to close the ward. The staff even held a vote and most of us were in favor. They said they'd fix it up again once they had the money. As you can see, that hasn't happened yet. I see. Do you think they'll ever get the ward up and running again? It'd be a shame if they just left it here to rot. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on it. We've basically gotten used to it over the years. And it gives folks a place to dump their old junk. Hmm. Can we, can we go back downstairs now? Still got a few more things to do today. Sun's gonna come up soon, too. Mm, yeah. Let's go. Oh, and Carl? Oh, no. I, uh... Thanks for hauling me down from here after the accident. That must have been hard work. You know, bet your sweet butt it was. You're lucky I'm such an athlete. <laughs> sure, Carl. Sure you are. Well, that was a whole night. That's off to bed for me. Oh... Hey, Mr. Walrus, you just chilling out here with your coffee. That reminds me. I got some coffee to drink. <sighs> see you tomorrow. And I'll see y'all later, here in the backlog. <laughs>